Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnots. We are back at it again. It is a glorious Friday morning. Sun is shining. There's hardly a cloud in the sky, which is good to see. Uh, what a way to start the morning. Stuck in bloody traffic as always. Typical Melbourne traffic. It's not the weather, it's the traffic. But uh, there was a bit of an accident, as you guys would have seen. Um, hopefully everyone was okay. It looked like everyone was walking around and everything else in between. So that's always good to see. It looks like the car that got hit initially um, caught fire somehow. I'm not sure how. It probably popped a fuel line or a brake line or something that had some form of oil or uh, fuel in it or something that could caught, catch fire. But either way, it looks like everyone has walked away from the situation either way, which is always good to see. Now, I'll tell you what, guys, I am looking forward to 5 o'clock tonight because once we hit 5 o'clock tonight, we are heading off home for two days. Oh, man, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm absolutely knackered right now. I am so bloody tired. It's ridiculous. I cannot wait to sleep in tomorrow and hopefully Sunday as well uh, but uh, there is a swap meet on Sunday so we'll see how how that turns out whether the weather allows it or not one is hoping that we can um, go and get some things that we need for the fire pit out the back but for now I've got to go into work do what we need to do there and hopefully we can get at five o'clock as quickly as possible so without further ado guys Let's go. Well, time has flown, guys. It is now five o'clock in the afternoon, and it's 28 degrees Celsius. So we are heading off home with the AC absolutely cranking it on the way home. And here I am sitting in a jumper. Why do I do these things to myself, guys? I have no flipping idea. Saturday is upon us, guys. And I believe the weather's not going to be looking so great, but at this given time, it's just a little wee bit cloudy at the moment. It's not like looking like it's going to, you know, come down with a thunder and storm or anything like that. So this is all we're really looking at, to be honest with you. Just a wee bit of cloud, and that's about it. Supposedly, it's going to be storming later on today. I'm not sure what time, though. But what the weather station is saying it's going to be excessively windy a little bit later on today and then about four o'clock onwards it's going to be storming from what it said on the little apple uh weather station but whether that is going to be accurate or not is going to be one thing i probably sh should really get out the mower and start mowing all the, some of these lawns before the rain truly comes but uh, I just want to have a bit of a lazy day today and hopefully go out and do what we need to do tomorrow because uh, there's a bit of a swap meet tomorrow and I wouldn't mind getting something for the fire pit um, simply just to get like the poking stick and tongs so all I've been really using is these flimsy little bloody things there and every now and then if I can find it this little piece right here is a little piece of thread, threaded rod that I've somehow bent trying to turn over a log in this bad boy. But uh, I really need to get these blacksmith tongs and poking sticks so we can uh, at least turn the logs over when we get the chance for it. Oh, poor little guy next door right there she's got a couple of boxes sitting out the back and they're the dogs boxes and it sounds like the guys have gone out and let the dogs home henceforth as well you can probably barely hear the howling well, he's probably not going to do it now that we we're uh, speaking about it 
poor guy. He's upset. Oh. That was going to be one of two options this weekend, at least. As if this uh, slot meat thing is still on, we're going to go and get the tongs and the poke and stick thing in my bob so we can uh, at least do a lot better at turning logs instead of having to be this close to the fire and burning our hairs off on the back of our hands because uh, I've done enough of that and not only that I've uh, almost taken enough skin off the back of my hands trying to turn the logs over with the heat that comes off the ruddy thing yep that doesn't look good guys looks like the weather's decided to say hey here I am finally deciding to ruin your plans for going up to this swap meet doesn't really matter that much. We can always get these tools from another place. Dad was just saying that there's a place up in Belen, which isn't far from where we live. There's a guy that does a lot of the tools that we could potentially get for what we're looking for, like the big tongs and big pokey stick. You can always get sent him a message to see if he got anything for it. Uh, so at least we can go up there if need be, because it's only a 20 minute drive up to Belen, so that's no big deal. This also gives me another opportunity to go and do something else. Um, go down to uh, Hoppers and see if we can get um, a little friend. Alrighty guys, a decision has been made. This swap mate thing is going to be way too wet by the time this rain comes through. There is a massive band of bad weather coming through. Wind has already picked up as you guys would have seen a little while ago so there's going to be no chance of it but a decision has been made either way we're going to run down to do this shop in hoppers which is probably about a half an hour 45 minute drive from here so we'll probably be home by about three o'clock i dare say but that's all right for what we are going to get i'm hoping that this young fella is going to be talkative happy and everything else in between because it's been an uh, easy 6 to 12 months since we lost Nova. Still miss him, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's time to move on. Time to get something different. And uh, We're going to reuse the old cage. As you guys can see, we've got some water in there, which you need to get some food. Need to get some uh, other little bits and pieces for him in there as well. But the main priority at this point is to get the little perches in the thing. Perches is like the little sticks that they uh, like to sit on. But yeah, we're gonna go and have a look at what they got down there. Uh, I did ring them up to say um, if they got anything there, and they do. So we're gonna head down and get what we need to get. All right, there's gonna be a slight rant. I would not have expected to see this sort of traffic, especially on a Saturday. What the actual shiznick is going on? I'd half expect it to be like, roadworks or something like that but not on a friggin Saturday I'd expect this to be flowing quite smoothly quite appropriately but not like ruddy this just had a squeeze when I got a chance this uh, traffic's all the way up around the bend uh, about two k's down the road or a mile and a half if you will there if it, uh, uh, I, I'm not really good at the conversion guys it might not be a mile and a half it might be 1.7 miles or something I don't know but anyway, it's going to be a little bit of a slow move through, but we're going to still persevere either way because we are really looking forward to having a new com um, companion. I prefer to have birds instead of like cats or dogs or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, I still love cats and dogs, but yeah, I prefer to, um, prefer to have a bird to be honest. Not far now, guys. We're probably another 10 minutes if traffic flows nicely. We're just in uh, Werribee at the moment, so we still need to sort of head off in a certain direction to get to where we need to go. Oh man, I tell you what, I am absolutely excited. So we finally made it, guys. All we've got to do is just walk through those doors and we should be able to get our little guy. So, guys, the deed is done. We have a beautiful little bird sitting in that cage right now. I'm not going to show you guys just yet. We'll get her home first and um, 
set up a cage just a little bit. It's gonna take a few days to sort of let her calm down and that, so we're not gonna rush this situation. So we're gonna take her home, get her set up, have her in your room so we can just sit there talking to her, uh, fill up a cage with food and water and everything else in between so that she can have at least some food and some water. She's already got a little bit of water in there, but we've got to take her home and give her some fresh food and we've got to do some other little modifications to the cage while we are at it. Just made it home guys and I'm very happy with the outcome of this. We've got her all set up in her cage and we're gonna let her just sit there for a couple of days and relax so she's not so stressed out and everything else in between. So what we're gonna do is we'll show you guys what colors we've got. She is absolutely gorgeous. Here she is. She's a little pearl. Gorgeous kid. Look at her. As you can tell, she's very scared at the moment. So we're not going to bother her too much with the camera or anything else. We're just going to let her sit there and um, get used to us and the smells and the noises and everything else in between. But she didn't do too bad on the drive home, to be honest. We took about an hour to get home. But she did really well. We put a blanket over her and we just sat there talking to her. That's what we're going to do for the next couple of days. So she's got plenty of food, plenty of water. She's got a little perch in there so she can sit there whenever she needs to. But at the moment, she needs to just sit back and relax. So her name is Becky. B-E-C-K-Y. Becky. I kept calling her Bub on the way home, but her name is Becky. And she's a beautiful girl. I think she's about a year old. She's only a fledgling at the moment, so that could be anywhere between 6 to 12 months as far as I know. But for now, she's just going to sit here talking to her when we're doing our thing and let her just get used to everything, including the smells and noises of not only myself, but me room as well, because she'll be spending quite a lot of time in here. You know what, guys? I'm certainly glad that we made the decision to get the bird today because this weather is not the greatest. It certainly has turned to the worst. Still got some clears around, but that's about typical of uh, Melbourne weather. But uh, supposedly, we would have had some uh, coming from that way. No, that way. I think it was that way. Can just see on how strong that wind is with that bloody cloud moving like crazy. So Becky seems to be doing all right at the moment. She's still a little bit stressed at the moment, which is uh, be about typical for. Uh, I think she's about six weeks old, maybe eight weeks old, maybe. I'm not really sure. I didn't ask the questions. They are. She is semi hand reared, so she's sort of used to people, but not completely. So it's gonna take about three weeks for Becky to get used to us. So what I've done is I've set the cage up just enough to keep her occupied for a little bit. Uh, I've got a toy in there, that little perch. I've got some food and water in there. So she's gonna be set for the time being. All we can really do at this point is just sit there and talk towards what we have been doing for the last couple of hours. Uh, I can't believe it's already five o'clock. We left home at one o'clock this afternoon and we got home at about four o'clock. So I've been talking to her all the way home and the whole time that she, we've been sitting in the room so that we can uh, sort of get used to each other. So she gets used to me and she does get a bit stressed when I move my uh, computer desk. Uh, she's not used to it yet, but she will get yeah, She'll get there without doubt. I'm also gonna be doing a lot of online shopping for um, the stuff that we've got for her as well. Uh, especially a lot of that stuff in the base of the cage. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to clean. Uh, keeps the odors down, keeps everything else clean as well. I can't believe we've already moved on to get another bird. She is a beautiful little thing. Absolutely gorgeous. She's that um, pearl color. She's got that nice gray on the back. I cannot wait until she decides to sit in my hand. I cannot wait for that. That's probably gonna be at least a month before she gets really that used to us at this point. Uh, it's gonna be a bit hard, especially when work gets in the way. Uh, I'm spending eight hours a day there and I'm only be able, gonna be able to spend only a couple of hours with her at the day, at the end of the day. 
uh, more time obviously on the weekends, but uh, it's just kind of shitty that we've got to spend a lot of time away and not enough time there. But we're still waiting for this ruddy storm to come through. It's about 4.35 o'clock at the moment and yet it's still not here. Uh, I wish this weather station could get the bloody accuracy on the time frame. Well, Becky seems to be somewhat alright, I think. I know there's going to be a few bird lovers out there. She's just sitting in the base of the cage at the moment. Still a little bit stressed at the moment. So she's doing not too bad, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to let her sit there for the time being. Because we don't want to stress her out too much. As you can see, we've got a little perch in there. We've got a single toy at this point. Which is what the... Uh, so I said, put a single toy in there for the time being. So at least you've got something to play with if she wants to play. But at this point, I don't think she wants to do any playing at the moment. She is stressed out of her mind, which I don't blame her. I would be too if I was taken away from people that I knew. I'd be stressed out of my mind too. Don't worry. I feel her. I feel her 100%, guys. I, uh, I do hope that she warms up to us pretty well. At the moment, she's... She's doing all right, I think. She's looking at us at the moment, wondering what we're doing. So I'm not, I'm not gonna push the boundaries with her. I'm gonna make sure that she's nice and relaxed. And she's just gonna stay in the cage, I'm not gonna touch her, anything like that. I'm gonna make sure that she's well fed, well watered, and that she's got the toy. And that we're gonna sit there and talk to her. That's all we're gonna do. And at the moment, she's, I think, doing all right. Uh, well, we've got her. It's right there, but I think at the moment she's sort of looking at the uh, Marty McFly from Back to the Future at the moment, so you can sort of see that she's sort of looking up at him, but at the moment we're just going to let her sit, we're going to talk to her and everything else in between. She does freak out whenever I move this, my back, she does freak out a little bit, but she doesn't run around the cage or anything like that, she just rocks back and forth at the time. But she's doing really good, I think. Doesn't really help with the little the strong wind going on around either because it's making the house move just that little bit. And not only that, it's making a lot of noise as well. So I think she's sort of stressed out about that as well. Um, there's a whole heap of factors I know. But at the moment, she's beautiful. I'm absolutely in love with young Becky at the moment. Absolutely in love. What are you doing? Hmm? It's full of camera and crows, huh? It's full of camera and crows. Yeah, it's a bit like that, isn't it? It's a bit like that. Hey, you're alright, Baba. You're alright, Baba. First time she's loosened up since uh, we put her there. It's cool. I've just been sitting here talking to her. She's curious, still a little stressed, but she's doing a lot better. First time I've seen her put her head gear down, oh, oh, put her back up. First time she's been moving around, guys. This is awesome. And look at these guys. She's starting to eat. It's about the second time that I've seen her eat since we've had her home. That is awesome. She's eating. Which is awesome. Yep, looks like the weather's decided to turn for the worst, guys. As you guys can hear, the weather has finally decided to come after a few hours. I'm not gonna go too far out from here, but those clouds have decided to open up just a wee bit. It's uh, got a little bit of lightning coming from just around the corner, but all this it's gonna be like this for probably most of the night. I'm grateful that I made the decision that I'd have today. Uh, it's always one thing that I do not like is when things are not accurate, especially when it comes to weather. If the weather station says it's coming at four, I expect it to be there at four, not eight o'clock at night, which is currently probably about 7.30 at the moment, 7.45 perhaps. I don't really keep an eye on time, to be absolutely honest with you. That's a big thing for me. I don't keep an eye on time. I just go with the flow as the best times as it were. 
but uh, I'm just grateful that they finally decided to come and you know they're here they're, they're, there's nothing else we can really do about it at this point so yeah I'm gonna go back inside and enjoy the rest of the night as it were because uh, there's not really much else that we can really do well so don't they guys Young little missy poo decided to come and have a sit on a perch. Instead of sitting on the side of the cage or in the back corner. It's probably about time for her to go to bed. It is 7.45 as it were. So I wasn't far off the time before. So she sort of relaxed a little bit to a point, but isn't 100% um, calm yet. But she's working on it which is awesome now yeah, she's gone hiding guys she's up in the back left corner of the cage at the moment she's not really wanting to come down at the moment but uh i suppose being in a foreign place at night isn't exactly the greatest place to be as you guys can see i've left the light on just to make her feel a little bit more comfortable in the area to make sure that she can see what's going on and uh, as per the usual, it's still raining outside as per the usual. Uh, there's been a couple of uh, lightnings going through the sky, but nothing too serious. But uh, either way, it's raining and young Missy Poo is hiding. Morning's almost 11 o'clock at night, guys. We are stuffed. We're going to bed. Everyone else is going to bed. And it is literally night time. The old quarry's still going though, either way. But we're gonna go to bed either way. And we're hoping that uh, young Missy Poo is gonna be a okay for tomorrow. We'll soon find out if she's still kicking and screaming if we didn't scare her too much today. So we've just woken up, guys. I think it's about 8 30, 8 45 at the moment. And uh, Young little Missy Poo's deciding to say, I don't like, come and get me. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go and see how young Missy Poo's going and uh, get on get on with the talking to her. Good morning. Hello, dear you are. Good morning. <coughs> what you doing, beautiful? Let me go to the front yesterday. Well, she seems to be very vocal today, as you guys can tell, and very active as well. She's uh, running around the base of her cage at the moment, squawking away, which is bloody awesome. I'm very thankful that we <clears throat> went down and got Becky when we did. It's uh, going to take some time before, uh, for us to really get used to uh, get her used to us. She's always attacking the cage for some known reason, but... Yeah, she's calm. calm. She's calmed right down, which is good, which is what we want. This is what she's doing quite often. She's up on the side of the cage, attacking the cage, <laughs> as always. And, uh, yeah, she's constantly doing that all the time. And as you can tell, she's vocal, which is awesome. So she has calmed down a bit, uh, still not like wanting to pat or anything like that i'm not gonna push that i'll probably end up doing it on tuesday trying to get my hand in there and see if she wants to have anything to do with it so everything's a waiting game with uh young becky at the moment so that's all right we don't mind having a little wait with becky uh as long as she uh, is safe that's the main thing and happy well, I don't know about you guys, but that's going to be it for today. Uh, there's not really much else we can do. Weather's looking fine, but not 100%. But we're not going to be going anywhere today. We can't really afford to go anywhere since we've got uh, Junior. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay here, talk to Becky, get her used to us a lot more than what she is, and um, jump on the computers for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to probably have to run down to the car and fix that because there's more issues with that, unfortunately. But either way, 
that's going to be it for the day. I want to say me goodbyes. I want to say me thank yous for being here as always, guys. And uh, I'll keep, keep you guys updated with Becky as per the usual. And, uh, show you how much <clears throat> progress that she's done in the last weeks or months that's going to be coming up. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. Until the next time, keep it easy.